I was having an issue with the, uh, I changed my radio, DX8, and had an issue on throttle. Um, the uh, three motors on this 800 hex were slow to turn on and too fast to turn off. But uh, what I did, I'll show you guys how to uh, reprogram them. And uh, doing uh, running a flight, uh, Pixhawk flight controller, I'll show you on this side so I don't have to turn that around. But what you have to do is disable um, disconnect power on the Pixhawk. Unplug all of the connectors to each motor, to each ESC. Disconnect them. And what you want to do on your Pixhawk, remove the cable that goes from the DSMX, remove it, goes to the back of the Pixhawk, disconnect it, and plug it into the side of the AR8000. When, you, uh, uh, when you're ready to start reprogramming each ESC individually, you can start in however uh, order you want, one through one through six, or it doesn't matter, but make sure you do each one. You're going to unplug uh, these connector from the back of the Pixhawk and put it into the throttle position here on the AR8000. Before, and you are not going to have your battery connected yet, um, but uh, you want to have your DX8 turned on, and throttle at maximum. Leave it up at max. Connect to the AR8000, the throttle tab. You're going to connect power. Get your LiPo. Get your LiPo here and connect it so you can power up the ESC. Once you, uh, you're gonna hear, you're gonna wait for a couple seconds, one or two, you're gonna hear a tone. Once you hear the tone, you're going to move, with the power still on, you're going to move the throttle to the down position. Um, leave the transmitter on with the throttle in the lowest position. Then you're going to unplug the ESC and wait for about five seconds and plug it back in. And you're going to get another tone. That's to confirm that uh, you've got the throttle range um, is within the proper setting. It, disconnect it. Get your second one, second ESC connector, and plug it back in to the throttle. You're going to have the throttle all the way up. Connect the power. You're going to wait for the tones. After you hear the tones, you're going to lower to zero, you're going to hear another beep, another tone, to indicate that that, part, that portion is done. You're going to disconnect the battery, leaving this down. You're going to disconnect the battery, wait about five seconds, reconnect the battery, this is still down, reconnect the battery, you're going to hear another tone, and that's your confirmation.